Northern New York has been busy this winter hosting sporting events with one of the biggest showcases taking place this week. NBC5's Eric Kerr has the latest from the NCAA Ski Championship in Lake Placid. College athletes skiing down the mountains in Lake Placid for a chance at glory. Go as fast as I can, but also just like challenge myself mentally. Like there's really nothing to lose at this point. The NCAA skiing championships are back in the village for the first time since 2015. What makes Lake Placid special is obviously an Olympic style community, smaller community, uh, definitely a lot of interest and support from the local community uh, to make this a successful event. And this year's competition featuring some athletes from our local colleges in our region where students from Vermont and Middlebury just to name a few are certainly feeling a taste of home being right here in Lake Placid. Seeing them out on the hill and having a community behind us when we're racing is always like a great advantage that we have here. We also spent Thanksgiving here training on this course so we spent we spent tons of hours and, and knowing the course means means so much especially uh, on the championship. After a day of alpine skiing races at Whiteface Mountain, day two featured freestyle cross-country skiing races at Mount Van Hovenberg. With two more days still left to ski in the championships, the athletes are pumped that there's still more time to compete in the North Country. Uh, I just love skiing here in the East, so it's really cool to get all of the like best collegiate skiers here in the U.S. to come over and, you know, and, and enjoy the New England winter. The final two days of the championships will continue at both mountains this Friday and Saturday. In Lake Placid, Eric Kerr, NBC5 News.